This video is not suitable for audiences under 13 years of age. Hello everyone, Mixman Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a look at some more test server action. This weekend's test server actually has a few additions to it that we're going to be looking at. The first off here, we have a Scorpion back for its second round. Uh, let's look at the Scorpion here, see if there's been any changes here to the stats of it. Let me see here, damage reduction is 50%. Uh, I think that's been changed. I think it was 60% last weekend's test server. Acceleration, I can't remember what it was last weekend. Uh, so 37% acceleration when you increase, do the ability. The teleport duration is still 500 meters. Uh, Built-in weapons damage 100 meters. I think that was the same as last time. A duration of 15 seconds, a cooldown of 18 seconds. Uh, cooldown might have increased a little bit. I thought it was 15 and 15 last weekend but I'm not 100% positive. But it looks like the damage reduction has been decreased slightly. So yeah, we're gonna be running five Scorpions here just to see if, you know, how they react in comparison to last week. The other things that's been added here, there is a new map called the Mine that we're going to be looking at if hopefully we can land on it. I tried to get into a custom game, but it won't actually let me select the Mine for some reason. So if I go in the custom game here, and I go into change the map, let's just say domination. And I go down to the bottom here where it says map mine and I go choose. I'm hitting the button and nothing's happening. So I can't actually make a custom game on a custom map. So we're going to leave this here and just to keep our fingers crossed that we can land in on the mine map. And the other items that on here is there is now a new module called the disguise unit. And it's not as what I thought. With the disguise, I thought it meant that you could disguise yourself as an enemy. And I think that would be incredibly overpowered. But that's not what it is. I have them equipped in all my bots here. So we look at the disguise module. Look at the information. What it says is, look at the detail. Uh, if your robot loses X percentage of its durability over Y seconds, what that is, I don't know. I don't know how much durability you have to lose in five in and under how many seconds but anyways if you lose a certain amount of durability in a certain under a certain amount of seconds the module activates to give you a temporary stealth preventing enemies from being able to lock on to you one module activates once per battle the number of activation depends on the number of modules equipped so that's where the stacking effect comes in so i have two of the disguise units on all of my scorpions so that means at two points in the match for each bot, this the Scorpion could get a temporary stealth. And the Disguise unit, it lasts for five seconds, the, the stealth. So we'll take a look at that. The other thing is there's been two modules for the Titans. Uh, the first one is the Accelerator module. We, we know what that is. That's been in the test server before. And not incredibly useful. I don't think people are going to give up their... Universal slot for if they had plenty of plenty armor or anti-matter reactor. I don't think they would give that up However, what they might give up is the quantum for the quantum sensor This is that dreaded quantum radar that people have been hoping is not going to be coming to the Titans But anyways, it has so the quantum right uh, radar they call it the quantum sensor it says allows locking on to stealth enemies in a specific radius So this is a permanent it, it lasts all the time, so any uh, any stealth robots that come within 350 meters, you'll be able to be uh, immediately targeted by a Titan. So there goes the, what was, in my opinion, the last counters to the Titans. There goes the Aljuns, because the Aljuns firing radius is 350 meters. So for now, you shouldn't even use this built-in weapon. It has to get within that 350 meters radius, which means the Titan can actually target it. 
And also there goes the counterfeit with Lokis. The only thing the Loki will be good at now is grabbing beacons at range. Within 350 meters, that the Loki is toast, just like the Aoshin. I'm not really happy about that one, but we knew it was coming. And still, I'm not happy with it. And I will give my feedback as such to Pixonic. All right, so that's a quick overview of what we have going on here. So let's just hop into a match and hope we get the mine. So here we go. And look at that. This is the mind map. Awesome. All right, so let's just start with my middle scorpion. I have wasps and stings on this one. Uh, assuming I'm going to drop in. Hello. There we go. Okay, let's look around. It is a new map, so don't expect too much. It's just going to be a whole bunch of shapes and polygons. So let's see if we can't find. So that's a Ravana. I don't really want to go against him. Who's this? All right, we go in here. It's another Ravana. And see, he just had his stealth activated that disguise unit. Sorry, not Ravana. Uh, was that Scorpion? No, Scorpion. And I thought it was supposed to be. Only five seconds of stealth. That scorpion that had had its uh, disguise unit activated was um, seemed to be in there for longer than five seconds. So I'm gonna see if I can't just backstab this guy. And like I said, this this is not a brawling setup. I have sting of wasps on here. There we go. Got a kill. Phase shift. He's going to easily take me out, that's fine. It's not a very good bot, anyways, but I had that set up. Alright, so let's let's go with my Stormy Gusts. Alright, so this is red here. Do, do you take damage if you go on the red? Yes, you do! Okay, get off. Get off the red. Get off the red. Okay, so we're going to. He just uses phase shift. Oh, he died. Alright, so somebody around me hitting me. Let's just go back to wherever I was. Um, hello? Oh crap. I I forgot about that. Okay. I had this happen several times on the test server last weekend where it seemed like it was buggy and I couldn't teleport back. That's actually not the case. It's it has a 500 meters range. So if you happen to teleport to somebody within the 500 meters range and then you walk out of the 500 meters range, you can't teleport back. So, see, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So let's find somebody who's just on the edge of 500 meters range. Uh, what's that guy back there? Okay, so he's, so he's at 400 meters range. Now I'm going to back up. And right about here, I should see. I can't teleport back because I walked back the fiber meters range. They need to have some kind of an indicator to let you know you've actually gone out of the range. Because you're, it says you can still activate your ability, and you go to activate the ability and you can't go back. And what if I still had a, a countdown on the on the timer? Ooh, you bugger! And. Uh, I walked back into the range. Well, once you use that ability once and it fails, you can't use it a second time and get back in. So, you always have to be conscious, at least right now, until hopefully they change it, that you have to try and stay within that 500 meters range to be able to teleport back. So 
I can hit this guy. Oh. Stop talking back there. I want that behemoth. Well, I, sh I should reload before I go in there. Alright, three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Wow, he is not taking hardly any damage. Come on. What? Um, what happened to my disguise unit thing was supposed to go off? And I wasn't there for 15 seconds, I don't think, so why couldn't I teleport back? Okay, I think that's him right there. He's going down now. How the heck did I get cold damage like that? Alright, so the our beacon's blue and yet the circle is white. Okay, that's that's not good. I don't know if it bonded out here, but that's fine. Okay, let my weapons cool down a little bit while his last stand is cooking. Alright, got this beacon again. Find another target. Oh, we got a me in the air. Try to shoot him up a little bit. We got two minis in the air. Let's go after this guy down here. It's a it's a nightingale. Wow, I just got completely roasted. I think it was that night that uh, Titan up there that that did it to me. Alright, we have a Pantheon bot up here. Let's see if we can get in range. Teleport to him and see what damage we can do. I lost my last stand. So it's not much I can do very much there, but let's go behind him. Let's get into his bubble. If I can actually shoot him, that'd be helpful. All right. Leave battle? Oh, I didn't even get to my Titan? Aw, oh, that sucks. <laughs> I, I, was paying, I, was, I was paying too much attention to the abilities and not actually trying to activate my Titan. Well, that kind of sucked. I will just let it run out here. And uh, I'll give you my final thoughts. Uh, I personally won't be using that Disguise unit. It's... A, it only lasts for five seconds, so it's... It's essentially like the the original phase shift, where you know you, you, you couldn't take any damage for five seconds. So only only difference is in this five seconds you can actually damage the other player. Uh, I just the thing about scorpions they're going to be very deadly. They're going to be top clans that run them all. I, I find it kind of confusing to be perfectly honest. I, I don't know if it will be a target item of mine. I'll probably eventually end up getting one. Uh, but I, I really don't agree with the ability to essentially teleport 500 meters into an enemy, do damage, and teleport back. I mean, like, you, you can't even leave a beacon now and without, without looking over your backside to see if somebody's either teleporting behind you to you or maybe one of your teammates that's behind you. And then... What they'll do, especially in squad play, they'll go, they'll teleport behind you. They won't shoot you, so you won't know that they're there. And then they'll grab your beacon behind, and then the game's over. It's going to be a spawn raid. Uh, so, really? The, it's in maintenance mode now? I should have another 10 minutes before it shuts down. Oh, well. I guess it, it's in maintenance mode. Anyways, uh, the... The, the Quantum Sensor for the Titans, oh my god, like, please, please, don't do that. Don't bring that into the game. I wanted to see what the Quantum Sensor was going to be like. I'll probably get on this afternoon to test the Quantum Sensor specifically and <laughs> try not to get my bots killed so quickly and see how that's going, but uh, I, I can tell you, it's going to be definitely a game changer. 
Uh, we only we have so few counters to Archer Titans. I just I I really don't see the and Titans are so strong as well. They're just they're completely. It's not like you take down a a recent a decently leveled Aujun or Arthur with a an Aujun. Uh, sorry, decently leveled Al Ming or Arthur with an Al Jun in one single flight. You have to take multiple flights and usually have multiple Al Juns or other bots shooting at the same time. It's only if you have an extremely like low level, level 1 to level 10 maybe, Titan, that you could take out it with a single Al Jun or single Finry or something like that. So there is no need for a quantum sensor. There really isn't. They, they stay on the field too long as it is, and they're extremely overpowered, especially with their existing modules. You, know, the, you have Al Mings out there doing four, five, six, I've even seen seven million damage in a single game with 20 plus kills and beacon rush. Like, there's no reason to make them even more powerful. Anyways, those are my thoughts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. And until next time, cost some mayhem in the field for me.